Hi, I'm Danielle. This is Kronk. He's probably gonna attack me. But yeah, I have like a hundred more lizards. I just be like, I'm Danielle, and we're gonna meet all my lizards. I'm Danielle, and this is my channel. Oh, hey guys, welcome you. back. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna yeah. introduce everybody to my lizards. Sure. Wait, was that good? Um, should I just be like, I'm Danielle, and <laughs> today we're gonna meet all my lizards. Yeah, well, fine. it's not gonna be all of them though. Say, Most like, of my something lizards. Something along the line of like, I'm Danielle, and this is the beginning of my lizard adventure, or something like that. No, that's some <laughs> corny <laughs> shit. <Level> on. <laughs> I have like a hundred lizards. I was hoping to maybe introduce you guys to like half of them. This one's Heimlich. He's a giant butterfly agama, Leolepis guttata. He's probably one of the biggest ones in the country. There's only like a handful of them. We have 15 giant butterfly agamas here. He's our biggest one. He's our oldest one. He's our friendliest one. He's basically like a bearded dragon. He comes everywhere with me. You can bring him in the car. This is Bunny. This is my melanistic Asian water monitor. And uh, he's not happy that I took him out and he covered me in dirt. This is Kronk and he's making my hands bleed. I have two rhino iguanas, but the other one I can't pick up. So we're just gonna see Kronk today. This is our rescue blue tongue skink. Uh, he came with the name Nubbins because he doesn't have any hands. He just has nubs. He's got one toe on this leg and a couple toes on this leg. But I renamed him Heath because he also has like these weird scars on his mouth. This is Barbie. She's my painted agama. This is Tiragosa, my Varanus macrae, or my blue tree monitor. Probably the rarest lizard that I have. This is my Xenagama taylori, the, my male. His name's Hamtaro because he looks like a hamster. Or the shield tail agama, that's what they call him. He's full grown. This is Sprite. My mom named this one. He's my eastern collared lizard because he's got like the bubbles, so he looks like Sprite. This is Deathwing, and this is Syntharia. They're my red monster bearded dragons. Well, she's half red monster, which is a line of uh, dark red bearded dragons. This is Calicos. He's my visual Wiro, a zero and a whip blitz at the same time. But yeah, he's got like this cool marbling. Usually that grows out when they get bigger, but he's kept it so far. This is Ragnaros, and this is Sulfurus. They're uh, half-sisters from New Line Dragons. Their eyes, see how Ragnaros has normal eyes and Sulfurus has black eyes? Oh my god. That means that she's got translucent scales. This is a full-grown adult, toad-headed Agama. He's one of them. You can tell he's the male. Probably the littlest one that we have. He's a Prinocephalus afraki. So it's um, a different subspecies of uh, toad-headed Agama than the other one that I just showed. That's a full-grown lizard. This one's name is just Guy. Uh, Leolepis rubertaniata, or a common butterfly agama. I have four different types of butterfly agama. This one's probably like the most common one you'll find here. The males have like these monarch butterfly colors, and the females just have like a red. Leolepis belliana. What the? F you didn't tell me you got that. I'm not supposed to have it. This is a Leolepis belliana male. He's a different type of butterfly agama. See how he has like those yellow spots? This is the second biggest type. The other big, biggest type is the Gatata that I already had. <laughs> this is Caraxes, my Australian water dragon. My male. I have a female upstairs, but she's like that big and runs away. More bearded dragons. I have like 30 bearded dragons. This is Alexstrasza. This is Sunkist. She's a dunner from Kids and Dragons. This is Anixia and Nefarian. They're the same morph, which is a KC paradigm, which is a genetic stripe, incomplete trans. So you can see they have spots of regular scales. He's got spots. They're not housed together. They're just together for this. This is Chromie. She's my leatherback. Hypo Zero Bearded Dragon. And this one is Soradormi. She's just a citrus 
blue bar normal scale. This is Nazdormu. He's my color stripe trans male bearded dragon. This is my favorite bearded dragon, Galcrond. He's a Barbata hybrid, so he's got like all this extra beard and he's like really skinny and like strange looking for a bearded dragon. He's the dad to all of the hatchlings that I have upstairs. This is Misfit, my green kill belly lizard. We don't really have a name for her yet, but we've been calling her Baby because she's like the baby. She's a Varanus Racingeri, which is a yellow tree monitor. She's a race car driver? She's a race car driver. This is Chungus, my Toke Gecko. Generally the only lizard in my whole collection that I'm afraid of. That is an extremely powerful bite and I'm glad it's on my sleeve and not my finger. This is Larry. He's a Pagona Miner or a dwarf bearded dragon or a western bearded dragon. And this is my Rankin's dragon. This is Robin, but this is the only one that's not brew mating right now. So yeah, these are the two smallest bearded dragons. Uh, this is Ego, he's my crested gecko. So this is my only non-lizard, Albino Superconda. Her name is Stubby Bubbins. I named this guy Justin because Justin was particularly cranky when I got him. He's a male jeweled lacerta. These are my two girl leopard geckos. This one's Calliope and this one's Lilith. My baby giant butterfly agama, so the one that I showed at the beginning, the Leolepis guttata, this turns into that. But this one's just a tiny little baby. Her name's Jinx. These are my Leolepis novantri. I have about 30 of them, so five of the friendliest ones. They're literally the chillest lizards that you can have as a pet. Better than a bearded dragon, in my opinion. They'll just sit on your shoulder all day. I have them for sale in my morph market.